when you are watching this video what is your specific person thinking about you if you are in no contact hmm? so let me see and remember it is a collective reading the link is in my bio for paid private readings okay and to win a free question reading only option is to subscribe to my youtube channel and leave a comment after that emailing me i will block you so let me see what they are thinking they are waiting for your message this person is waiting for a long time okay they are waiting for you and um, they're trying to make a decision out of it they're confused very very confused they don't know which way to go and what exactly to do okay this one just want to be included in this video let me see yeah a lot of confusion with the seven of cups and the moon this person is very very confused they have a lot of different thoughts going on in their mind. In one way, they want to come forward. They want to message you. They want to make things better. But again, at the same time, they are also thinking how to how to do that. It's become too late. If I go forward, they might not even take me. So what I can do, how to make things better. Okay. And um, there are a lot of toxic people around this guy, a girl, whoever. There are a lot of toxic people who try to poison their mind against you or just show, show them a different like you know perspective about you okay that is actually creating more confusion in this person's mind i'm not sure what it is but this person really want to give you commitment they think about commitment like you know they want to if under the circumstances everything is fine this person wants to give you some commitment this person is not flirting with you okay and remember honey take what resonates again it is not a reading for everyone if your person left you for third party and even left alone this is not your reading simple as that and yeah, so this person definitely wants to give you commitment. But it looks like at this moment, they are not in a state to do that. Uh, whatever happened between you two, to, you two guys looks very, very bad to me this time. And it looks like this is, there is no no end. This is, this this two cards, all right. This person is hurting a lot. Are really, really hurting and confused and hurting. There might be some third party interference, as I already told you. There might be third party interference in this connection. You or your specific person or anybody's side. It can be toxicity, their work, addiction or there will be third person also. Okay. Um, however, I'm seeing that these two cards actually uh, wanted to be included. So death and rebirth and then also comes with uh, the wheel of fortune. So death talks about end of something and starting a new. So definitely I feel like this person is not um, liking this situation. So they want to end this relationship and start this relationship in a new way. I mean, not the relationship, this situation, whatever going on in this sit between you, they want to end that and start this relationship in a new way. And the wheel here is giving me the hope that this situation will turn in your favor. Okay. And also you might be traveling, you might be traveling, they might be traveling, might be you guys are in a long, long distance relationship or um, whatever it is. It looks like um, you, the wheel is definitely uh, moving in your favor okay um some communication will be there and i see this connection is destined connection this is written by angels so it looks like to me no matter whatever is going on due to some reason the forward movement is blocked but it will move forward it will move forward okay and um it looks to me yeah both of you actually carrying heavy burden about this relationship it's like um it looks like you guys fight over something which has no importance in your actual life. But you do fight on these topics and you keep on bringing again and again the same topic. Same topic again and again. Does it make any sense to me? But um, this needs to finish. But the number 10 is giving me the indication that um, soon this will end and you guys will move to the different direction. Also the wheel and this together. Number 10 is the, side, is the number of completion in tarot. So uh, with the wheel and this coming, so I would say like this situation, whatever is going on for a long time, it is going to end and this relationship is going to move forward to the next level. Okay, last card. Yeah, so um, you guys are hurting. Both of you guys are hurting, but nobody is showing to each other. Probably in the social media, you are pretending to be very nice. Everything is good. Good. it's like a deceptive one okay so you guys are wearing false mask and showing people like um, all good no problem okay and might be some cheating and lying issue involved in this connections you or your specific person probably did hide something from each other which came out and which made the situations really really bad very very bad they didn't want something or you didn't want something they did and they didn't like something that you did something like that um so this is kind of both are hurting both are really really in a pain but nobody is going to move forward because the thing, whatever happened, it is like a blockage. Even if it is not a very major thing, but it is a small blockage, which actually blocked and just, you know, tied your hands that you are not being able to move forward. Okay. Um, it doesn't look nice to me to be. Let me see some cards here. Um, if it is my 
TikTok community. Uh, please watch this video in YouTube. All right. The rest of the video. And remember to book a private reading. The link is in my bio. So, okay. So for my uh, YouTube community. Uh, let me see what is the outcome of this connection. It looks like separation. Yes, you guys are in separation. Understand. Uh, and let go the control issues. Okay, so I see like there will be some control issues. You and your specific person are very, very control freak. You want to dominate other person and their, you know, way to be in this connection. You probably want that they will be like, you know, always going as per your norms, uh, which they don't like. Um, you don't have any bad intentions, but the thing is like you believe that this is the right way of doing and they believe that's a different way of doing the thing. So it's not that I'm saying anybody is like really trying to control other person like a puppet, but it is like you have conflict of interest and conflict of understanding, okay, which is actually making it a little bit difficult here. Pay attention to red flags and this red flag is not, not all about um, the other person. Both of you have some red flags. Um, your insecurity, your controlness or, or you or you just looking always the negative side of the story is something that is impacting this relationship. Okay. Remember when you are in a relationship, what you thought, what you believe that influences the other person. Okay, we have telepathically connected. So your thoughts impacts the other person, no matter how positive this person is. When you all constantly start thinking negative about the connection that impacts the other person. Okay, so um, be careful about your thoughts. Be care careful about your insecurities. You need to work on those insecurities to make it a better relationship. All right. I hope it helps. Take care. Love you.